just to get them a bit of uh, fresh air inside because there won't be air conditioning in this old building. Do you mind? What's up, mate? Who are you? Who are you shouting at like that? Yeah. Who are you shouting at like that? Where you come from? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to take a look at HMP Oakwood. And look what they've got down there, look. A fake policeman. Oh, no! So, yeah, this one is directly next door to HMP Featherstone, which looks a lot older. So, I would have thought HMP Oakwood would be quite new. And from the internet, it says HMP Oakwood is a Category C prison in Featherstone, Staffordshire. First opened in April 2012, the prison is operated by G4S, as shown us there, look. And was primed to be in full operation by autumn 2012. Originally called Featherstone 2 and designed to be a Titan prison. It was downsized to hold 1,605 prisoners with construction starting in 2009. Now, Titan prison, what the hell is that? So a Titan prison or Titan goal was a proposed new classification of prisons designed to increase the overall prison capacity and improve operational efficiency. In plans announced in December 2007, the Titan concept included the proposed construction of three new prisons, each housing 2,500 inmates, well above the 1,461 capacity of the largest prison at the time. So they wanted to put 2,500 inmates in this. After much opposition and criticism, the plans were understood to have been dropped on the 29th, on the 24th of April, 2009. So we'll just have a little walk around the perimeter and see what interesting things we can find. That's unusual to see a vehicle down here, right at the end of uh, the long prison road, next to the gate. And in the back, it's got dogs in transit. So some sort of security dog van. Ah. you got a little gap in the fence there just some sort of substation power substation and as we come to the back fence along the perimeter you come to this barrier which is securely locked and they've done this DIY solution to stop vehicles getting past <laughs> a bit of uh, steel with a little bolt going through the post <laughs> Was the budget that small that you couldn't get better security than this homemade bit of steel? Come on. So just as we continue to walk around the perimeter here, we notice this HMP sign. There's nothing unusual other than what it says right at the top. HMP Exeter. <laughs> We're not in Exeter, are we? We're in Oakwood. Now, Exeter to Oakwood is this distance away. Three hours and six minutes away. 172 miles. So we're budgets that low. We're funds that short that they had to recycle the signs from HMP Exeter. You know, when HMP Exeter had some money spent on it and the signs got taken down, they weren't just thrown in the skip, thrown in the bin. They were saved for HMP Oakwood. And look, no throwing over. No throwing the ball. Because if you do, handcuffs, prison, punishment. <laughs> and there we go, look, another no throw over sign. Quite weathered. So that's uh, why they replaced the sign with the other one that we saw earlier with that handcuff picture. <laughs> so DIY. So as we continue to walk around this perimeter, we thought we was getting somewhere. And then we come around the corner and see this. Oh my God. So let's carry on. And here we have another recycled sign from HMP Exeter. I thought it was just a one off, but no, every sign on this outside in the back area where not many people would see it, they all seem to be HMP Exeter. And just as we come to the end of this perimeter here on the last corner, it butts up to some sort of car dealership where 
they've got electric fences on the top and these cars look to be like Toyota I think Toyota and Nissan if I've got that logo correct there I do get confused with Hyundai and Toyota and they're clearly Nissan vehicles just there and they're all 22 plates these ones have obviously got no plates on at all because they're brand new and we've also got some nice Kia Sportage this is the latest Kia Sportage look with the nice new back if you're into your cars it says the Brindley Garage Group over there but the electric fence goes all the way down and some more brand new vehicles Kia Picanto Kia Nero Hyundai Bayon Kia Nero the Ionic 5 now that is brand spank look at the door handles on it so yeah we've got a compound of brand new vehicles some of them you don't see many of on the road I mean look at the back of that I've never seen one of them before a Kia EV6 Kia have started to uh, do some really nice shapes nowadays and you get that amazing warranty what was it like a seven year warranty last time I looked They're certainly not the the old ugly Kias like they used to be that's an ugly colour <laughs> just as I say ugly Kia would come across an ugly one but look at that for a car an MG MG3 with just as we said earlier a seven year warranty so it turns out that that symbol is not Hyundai it's not Honda it's Mazda sorry and here we have an MX-5 Sky Active G that is very smart very smart indeed and there we have another MX-5 in blacky blue colour loads and loads of brand new cars down here that some of the models I've not seen before a Kia Stonic look at that Kia Stonic a GT line and look at that a Mazda 6 it's like big jet TV but for vehicles <laughs> oh dear but he knows what he's talking about and I don't good old Jerry if anyone knows Jerry from big jet TV so as we come down from Oakwood now bordering onto Featherstone we can see some of the cells in there with the bars on the windows and we can see that lovely main building there that we saw from the other side but it's interesting to see that the windows are open a tiny bit there on some of them very very slim windows look look how thin they are just to get them a bit of uh, fresh air inside because there won't be air conditioning in this old building do you mind who are you shouting at like that? Yeah. Who are you shouting at like that? Where are you come from? Well, where are you come from, Mr. Brindley? Do you mind? What was that about? Come on. How rude. Just ask him where you come from. No, you didn't. No, you I are, said, Oi, I feel very where you come from? Harassed, alarmed, and distressed now. Oh, right, okay. Okay, that, what would, was be that? A, that would be a public order offence, sir. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Huh? Saying, Oi. Do you want me to do it back to you? Yeah. Oi! Oi! Hello, Oi! Oh, you find it funny, do you? Well, I didn't. Uh, please, please. Police? Oh, oh my God, please. They've already been out, mate. Yeah, yeah. Is that your own phone? Is that yeah. your own phone? Yes, mate. Yeah? Okay. Well, you might want to get rid of that, mate. Oh, you might lose your job, Mr. Brindley. No, I'm going to lose my job, mate. Huh? i just got to video you people because I'm got not to video sure who me. you are. Excuse me, my friend. I don't know who you are. are. Look at I the state of you. I don't okay. know who you are, do I? Excuse me, my friend. Make sure you don't fall and tumble over, Mr. Tumble. You look like Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just swear? Oi, Mr. Tumble. Did you just swear? Mr. Tumble. Can you see how the tone of your uh, behaviour has changed from when you first approached us? At first it was like, oi! And now it's like, <laughs> I speak Italian! I speak Italian! 
Do you see how much of a muppet you actually look? See you later, Mr. Tumble. I was actually going to do a little uh, video about the Brindley Group and how good you are. Stick and, a drone over the top of them. And what amazing vehicles you have. But I don't think that's going to be the case anymore, thanks to your unprofessional behaviour. Such a shame. That is not behaviour that you should be portraying whilst you're wearing that company uniform. Come on, we're just walking on a piece of grass next to a fence and he comes up, oi, like that. I don't know, that was absolutely bizarre. Who does that? So we have come to uh, some sort of fence now and although it looks like it just continues round, I'm not gonna be climbing this fence or going past this barrier. I'm gonna respect that they've put this barrier there for a reason. And although it means we're having to walk all the way back, so be it, because we want to remain lawful. And that's what we will do. Hey mate, just one quick question. Yeah. We're just making a quick video about the Brindley group. Oh mate, that's a shame. <laughs> he was gonna <laughs> Don't listen to Mr. Tumbo, he's silly. He's very rude. And finally, we come back to the front of HMP Oakwood. And there isn't really much to see on this one. And obviously we've already been confronted at the prison next door at HMP Featherstone. So now it just leaves this one last building to work out what this is, but it's not linked in any way to HMP Oakwood. So it makes me wonder, is this just another maintenance or storage warehouse? We can normally get a few clues by looking through the gaps and we can see some soil, some trailers, some netting, some fences, some gritter for when it's uh, really cold. So yeah, just some sort of maintenance depot, I think. Inside here, we can see some washing machines, some dryers, a van, and just a very secure gate there, look. Nothing out of the ordinary, but once again, amazingly kept grounds. And this is just the entrance point with no access control at all, barriers wide open. Mate, do you get many people filming around here? Mater, are we the first? Just say no if we're not the first. Welcome to HNP Oakwood from the director, Sean Oliver. At Oakwood, we aim to provide all prisoners with a platform to change their lives. We will promote a community culture where prisoners will be able to assist the management team to establish projects, processes and forums that meet the needs of the population. We will try to recognise the skills, talents and abilities of the prisoners and empower those who can lead by example and inspire others to change their mindset. We offer modern facilities, access to training, education, industrial type employment, interventions and physical health and well-being initiatives. We will offer prisoners with substance misuse issues an opportunity to safely withdraw from such behaviour on our drug recovery unit. At HMP Oakwood, we are the best in the world. Oh dear. Are you still going on? What? What's wrong with you? Let me give you a clue, my friend. My friend, if you just say to me, there's a prisoner here, please point your camera away. Yeah, that's what normal human beings say to each other. So I'm gonna take it that you have just said to me, there's a prisoner here, please point your camera away. Now I'm going to do that, okay? I'm going to point the camera away. That is how you speak to a member of the public. All right? Camera's been pointed away now. Cafe. And here we have the Restart Cafe. And what specials have we got on today? Freshly baked 
chopped chip sponge cake. Oh, wow, banana cake. Vanilla, banana, lemon, banana and banana banana chopped chip. <laughs> My friend, what's on the specials today? Mate, can't film us. Oh, okay, no worries, mate. Listen, mate. Off. Yeah, no, we're going now. We're going. I just wanted to know what's on the specials, that's all. Listen, uh, now I know that. Listen, now I know that. I respect it, okay? I didn't know that before. You must appreciate that, yeah? All good. He's on license as well. So what I'm going to do, these people that are on license, I'm going to blur them out so we can still hear the audio because the conversation is quite interesting, to be honest. And I think this issue needs to be highlighted where the prison are putting prisoners that are on license in a public area where people can film them. And I don't think that's right of the prison to do that. So my issue now is with the prison. So don't put prisoners in public areas because if it affects their sentence, then that is not the prisoner's fault. That's the prison's fault, the governor's fault for putting them in that position. So on that basis, I was gonna cut the prisoners out, but I'm gonna blur their faces so we can just hear their voices. Now that guy there in the kitchen, he actually showed me his paper to prove that he's on license. Now, he didn't need to do that. Just verbally tell me and I will blur you because I do not want to be affecting the end of your sentence. The one that we spoke to earlier, he's only got four months to go. He's doing the gardening. Now these grounds around here look immaculate. So they're doing a great job and it's a great idea but it puts them in the public, which means they can be photographed and filmed. And I do not want them to be punished for that. So that's it from HMP Oakwood. We didn't really see anything majorly interesting there. The drone footage will be inserted here. And if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now. So we've already checked on drone assist and we know we're outside the restricted zone. But look, the DJI app actually tells you that there is a restricted zone nearby. But luck would have it that it's starting to snow again. And it's not ideal conditions, but we're only going up and down. We're not traveling far. So let's do it. Let's get David out, the drone assisted visual information detective. And he's got his new intro now. So check out the new intro. So for the evidence purposes, this is where we took the drone off from. It was snowing when we took the drone up. It's a lovely sunny day now. It's only five minutes later. 
UK weather is absolutely bizarre. This is what's around us. Houses, car coming out, path being built, and grass. We did not go any closer. The flight only went up. It didn't go forward, back, sideways, or anything like that. So, there's nothing you can do about it. So, as you just saw, whilst we were walking around the prison grounds earlier, we had a member of staff from a neighbouring business approaches with a bit of rudeness, to be honest. So, we've come to the front door, well, the front gate, and we was hoping to get a bit closer than this, to be honest. We was hoping to go into the reception and speak to them about the conduct. And we was going to say about the image, how we either want it deleted or we want a copy of it. But we're not able to get any closer than this because they've got brilliant security. And quite rightly so. You saw all those amazing vehicles that they've got in that compound there. And maybe they're just not used to people getting that close. So it shocked them into that behaviour. But this is the company responsible. And we just so happen to have an intercom. So let's press it. So we're pushing the intercom now. Hello. Hi there. Um, we we're, were a couple of photographers here. Um, we were around the other side of your business between yourselves and the uh, prison and uh, one of your staff members decided to hurl some abuse at us and then two of your staff members um, took some footage of ourselves um, which I believe might have been on their personal phone or it may have been on their work phone. Either way, um, it would be a breach of GDPR and I have a right to request a copy of that. Um, so really, if it's on their personal phone, I would just like to see those images gone. Um, and if it's a work phone, then I would actually like to um, obtain a copy of that. How rude. Right, well... How rude. So I've now just been hung up on here. So as you just heard there, my colleague BBA, who also does the same sort of thing. So if you have not uh, subscribed to BBA, his channel will be in the uh, description below. We gave Brindley Garages Group an opportunity there. We were very polite. We just said, could we have a copy or could they be deleted just to put this matter to bed? Because we weren't expecting them to come up and take our image. Did we have an opportunity to stay covered up? Were we uncovered? Would those images be then plastered over their social media? We don't know, do we? So there's a nice request for them to be deleted or a copy. Be a personal phone or work phone. If it's a personal phone, I would like them to delete that. If it's their work phone, I would like to obtain a copy of that, as that's a uh, part of GDPR rules. Um, I'm entitled to that. I'm, a, I'm just a, I'm just a member of the public, actually a photographer that was doing some photography, uh, minding my own business, and um, it was when then one of your staff members decided to approach. How rude!